Alright. In a Home Depot haul today. Also. I'm gonna be trying to take this bad boy out today. So today I'm gonna be taking this AC unit out. Um, basically I have to depressurize the AC refrigerant hoses, drain the heater core hoses that go all the way up to the engine and then circulate the heater core. Basically I have to circulate the heat and then plug AC lines. Which I thought it was backwards but I'm glad I did my research. I guess we just can start this now. It's actually not even coming out this hose. It's circulating through the system. Besides my hands, that was fairly clean, I think. I'm gonna go set this aside in a safe location. There's all the hose I took out. All right, so here are my cut AC lines. These ran all the way to the back of the vehicle. I'm just gonna be putting a bolt in there with the hose clamp, tighten them up. Same with this one. So what we gotta do next is connect those two hoses so they loop into each other. Take those two brackets off and there's a steel pole that goes back in the back of the engine that I'm going to take out and try to connect these two a little bit better. In here is the other line. I just capped it off with a simple hose cap. 
plugged it up. There was fluid coming out of this when I was filling up the radiator, so I just cinched it off. This line actually goes to the bottom of my condenser, but I don't believe it does anything. Um, since I have the fluid circulating, this shouldn't have much pressure at all in it. But uh, I just figured I'd close that up and keep it simple. That's pretty much all. All right, so now I'm gonna be flushing the old fluid through an old t-shirt to get out all the dirty particles and try to clean out that fluid as much as possible. Make sure the catching container is also clean. That in my engine. Well, the rear AC is completely out. Um, that was a pretty easy job. Um, I think the hardest part for me was to pull all the lines, really make sure I knew which direction they were going to and how they connect. Um, also, just getting in there with the right tools, um, you know, hose clamps, scissors that were sharp enough to cut through the hose, because you really can't get anything in there besides like a side grinder every once in a while to take off like the brackets and stuff, but. It honestly feels really good just to have that big bulky garbage out of my van. I, I honestly don't think it makes it too much lighter, but that was one of the concerns. I'm like, there's just these huge hoses that don't mean anything to me anyways. I plan on getting like a portable AC or some sort of AC unit in here anyways, running off 12 volts. So that's not a huge concern for me as of right now, but I am going to be traveling towards the nice weather. so. Heat in the van is definitely a concern. I'm gonna be putting reflective curtains up and stuff too to try to prevent how much heat is going into the side of the van. As far as heat though, um, I plan to just have a little netty heater, buddy heater. Um, it was pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I can try to answer your questions or point you in the right direction. I know there are cap off kits for this type of. Um, I thought about just doing it myself and saving a couple of bucks, so um, I think it ended up costing me probably close to ten dollars just to, in like miscellaneous little parts to put the bolt in, cinch it down, silicone. Obviously, I have some of that on hand, but and then the only reason why I really put silicone on there is if in case it leaks, hopefully it'll show me a little bit closer on where the leak is coming from. I honestly don't think it is though. Um, I cinched it down like on the threads of the bolt, so that should keep it pretty tight in there. But yeah, other than that, it wasn't that hard. Um, I drove it around, seems to be running fine. I got the engine super hot, and then I drove it around like pretty hard, like went up a hill, accelerated fast, slowed down, took sharper turns. It, it all seems to be working just fine. Uh, we had no leaks in the antifreeze. Um, I guess the only other thing I can do is fill it up with refrigerant. I haven't really checked to see if this van even has good running AC either. So, I guess for me it works. Hopefully you guys find something interesting in this video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. I'll try to answer your questions or at least point you in the right direction. But um, other than that, I hope you learned a little bit of something or just have an idea on what kind of job that you're about to get into. Um, it took me a day and a half probably six hours to do. The day I started it and then my hands were so dirty and I was just kind of over it so I went and took a break. Came back with a fresh mindset today. Finished it up. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I will be doing more video van builds in the near future. Until then, let us say goodnight to Big Thirsty because we're going inside.